Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey. Now I really have something for you. The Liberator. Storehouse special. Small batch. Double port. Batch number two. One of 96 bottles. <laughs> and it's 350 milliliters. Isn't it cute? All right. So the cute little beast here has 62.1% ABV. And cost uh, 41 euros 90, which I thought was an okay price compared to some other people that are doing extraorbitant prices at the moment. This was um, batch number one was whiskey base number 167623. Now, when you start looking into this, first of all, a brief, brief introduction here about the Liberator. The Liberator, um, the person who is the Liberator, was Daniel O'Connell. He was a peaceful and um, actually a lawful um, person trying to fight for freedom in Ireland. Now, one of his family members, the Maurice O'Connell, started up his own bonding. Um, he's now taking on the name bonding before it was just a, um, an independent bottler. Now, what he does is he buys whiskeys um, from different distillers. In this case, we have here Cooley Juice, and we have from the Great Northern Distillery Juice in here. We have blended whiskey. So it is um, actually 42% malt and 58% grain. And we have different casks that were involved. We have Ruby and we have Tawny. So the malt was for between 9 and 12 months in different Ruby and Tawny casks. And the grain was for 12 months in only ruby casks. Now, if you take a look at 96 bottles and you do the little math, 96 times 0.35, uh, you get something along the line of like, hey, wait a second. There's like 35 liters of alcohol here, of, of, of whiskey. Why would you do a batch that small? Well, my answer is going to be this. Boom. Now, this is the normal 700 milliliters. This is the tiny little 350. And what they did is basically this is the normal batch. This is batch number one. And this is batch number two. So um, the original idea was, if, I, if I'm correct, um, we have tourists that came to a distillery for a tour. And then you'd actually get to buy a distillery only. Da, da, da. Well... COVID happened and there was no more tourism. So what they did is they sold batch number two to Germany. Um, batch number one had 156 bottles and batch number two had 96 bottles. And so um, interesting. So you had enough whiskey to do enough with it. And then you only had a little bit that you didn't dilute down. This is basically the, 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 the barrel proof, 62.1%. And this is the um, drinking bottle um, ABV with 46%. All right, good. Let's try to nose the two of them. I don't know about you, but when I have port, especially the, the, the ruby port, I get a lot of strawberries and raspberries. So imagine um, a punch with strawberry and raspberry punch. And that's what I'm getting here. Now, the alcohol with the 62.1% ABV is not kicking me in the face. It's actually fairly nice. Not bad, not bad. Um, very fruity, very summer-like whiskey, a very good thing. Now, over here, it's basically the same, just a little bit watered down. Um, interesting enough, uh, this is imported over here in Germany by one uh, lady. We have a lady, uh, Miss. I call her Miss Irish Whiskey. It's Marika Spitza. She owns www.irish-whiskies.de, D-E, Deutschland for Germany. And she's the official importer for this whiskey. Maybe she might send it to you in Europe as well if you ask. Write her an email, um, info at irish-whiskies.de. Say hi from Jason. And um, so what she does is she actually is, um, we, did, we did a tasting together is what I wanted to say. Uh, that was on the Easter weekend, basically. We did a tasting with six different whiskeys just from her. And this whiskey was not in the top three. There were six, and um, it was very interesting how other whiskeys were much, much highly, higher, higher rated than this one was. Um, but hey, I've never been a great fan of the Liberator. Let's see if I can be convinced this time. Why did I buy it? Well, I thought the price was okay. I wanted to share it, and I'm willing to expand my horizons and see if something else can kind of um, win me over. Now, I know that the 62.1% are just way too strong. 
So my, this is how my, um, my, so my diagram looked like when I tasted it in German. <laughs> the wider my hands are, are apart from each other, the hotter the whiskey was. It was just way too hot for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute this down, and I'm going to try to hit about the 50%, maybe 52% mark. Now this is 46%. Um, this is batch one. And this is batch two. I think batch one is not as great as batch two is. I like batch two a little bit better. Um, but let's try this again. Okay, the strawberry, the raspberry, I get a little bit of watermelon, I get a little bit of that Hawaiian fruit punch moment in there. This is actually not bad. Cheers. Mm -hmm. The grain kicks through. Um, it's a great cons of, of viscosity. There's a thickness, there's an oiliness to this whiskey, which I like. It might be the grain, actually, that does it. Mm, very, very well done. Um, you do have some older grains in, I'm sorry, some older malts in here. So um, we have from 2006, we have some malts from Cooley in here. We have some from 2010, we have some 2015. Um, there's all these different things going on here. And I guess that's what a bonder's doing today is he's actually using his different ingredients and making and blending his own whiskey and then presenting it. So it says Irish whiskey on it. So it's not a single. It's from different distilleries. It's not a single malt Irish whiskey. It's just an Irish whiskey, which always means a blend. Um, but that's okay. This is batch two and it's one of bottle of 96. I like. I like better than this, actually. Uh, this is a C to a C plus taste for me. For the value for money, it's a C minus, maybe a D plus. Still, I've had um, people have a half liter bottle from Kilhoen. Oh yeah. So this is Kilhoen. This was 95 euros. This is half the price. It is less in the bottle, but um, it's just amazing the prices um, that uh, they can get at Kilhoen um, bonded experiment there. So. Um, I found, I found this fairly reasonable. Five years ago when I started my channel, I would have went third, 350 milliliters, 40 euros. You're crazy. Anything on over, uh, that's 80 euros a bottle. That's too much. Today, apparently, it's not. All right, over here, just try this. Interesting enough, the fruity flavors of the small batch um, double cask, uh, double port finish, I'm sorry, um, is stronger. But also the tannins and the bite is also stronger here. So this was somehow more um, expertly created. So whoever did the blending, I'm not 100% sure. I have a, an idea where, who blended this. It might actually be a, a German lady that I know. If it's Ju Julia, Julia, if you blended this, well done. If you didn't blend this, okay. I, f I find your fingerprint is a little bit more here than here. Mm. This feels so much younger. The grain kicks through in a bad way. Here the grain was there and okay. If you've, had a, if you've ever had Middleton Rare, Middleton Rare is a blended Irish whiskey. There's grain in it, people. And people just go crazy over the Middleton, go, oh, it's the fabulous, fabulous. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, but this is... A little bit more brutal, a little bit more of a kick, a little bit more of a rough around the edges. This is much more, it's mature, it's, it's more cohesive, more holistic. I like this a lot better. Um, I really banged on this in my first video, um, but I do like the batch number two much more. So, hey, if you can find the Liberty, if you find the, um, the batch number two, go for it. I would actually recommend it, or as I said, ask Marika. Spitza, or info at um, irishminuswhiskies.de if she could send you a couple bottles of this wherever you are in Europe. To the States, Canada, mm -mm. Australia, mm -mm. but in Europe, mm -mm. could be possible. She might just do that for you. And that price is absolutely okay. So, um, taste, I'm going, as I said, for the C+, plus, um, especially with water. Value for money, I'm going for the C-, minus, but I'm going to continue with my uniqueness. There have been very, very, very few cast strength, port, finished or matured Irish whiskeys out there. And this was one of them. Um, there was an Essener Hof, a uh, historic collection with 16 years and a port cast that was just fabulous. 
Um, there have been some tealings that have been in port casks um, on single cask. Oh, they were so good. And this is getting into that territory. It's not exactly there yet, but it's getting in that territory. And therefore, I'm going to give this for uniqueness also a B, a solid B. Um, even though it is tiny, cute, and nice little bottle here. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Uh, Whiskey Jason's Whiskey uh, from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, usually tasting things you might not ever see. One of 96 bottles. And batch one was one of 156 bottles. Not a lot to go around for the world. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.